Hello, welcome to this open day. And before we start, I'd like to share a video um, about Harrow College. And please now, can I introduce our principal at Harrow College, Pat, for a personal work welcome to you to the college. Hello everyone, my name is Pat Carvello and I'm principal here at Harrow College. And I'm very pleased to welcome you to this virtual open day session. Now I am aware that lockdown has been a very difficult time for you, particularly as you've been trying to ensure you gain the qualifications that you set out to achieve. And I do hope that this turns out well for you. But now is the time for you to think about your plans for next year's study and putting those into action. And this virtual session is here to help you do this. You have a, wide, uh, a lot of career options open to you. And here at Harrow College, we have a wide range of academic, vocational and technical uh, qualifications over a, a number of levels that are here to meet your interests and your abilities. We have a great track record with a consistently high performance over the last five years. And we have been the highest performing college in London for 16 to 19 year old students over the last two years. Plus our A-level scores and English and maths progress are amongst the highest in the country. And we're very proud of this, hugely down to the success of our teaching and support staff. Our teaching staff are specialists in their subject areas and bring with them a vital industry experience that will help our students to achieve. And alongside this, we have high quality support that also provides help to students to succeed and to progress. We are constantly investing in our facilities to ensure that they are fit for purpose and are of industry standard. And our social and recreational facilities are here for students to enjoy when they're not in lessons. So our staff are here to help you with our wide range of options and we will assist you to find a suitable place here at the college, according to your qualifications, your abilities, and most importantly, a course that is of interest to you and to one that you can succeed in. I hope this session gives you a flavour of what is on offer here at Harrow College. And if you'd like to join, and if you'd like to join us, I would encourage you to apply early to secure your place. So I look forward to meeting you in person in September. Thank you.
Thank you, Pat, for that message there. And just wanted to reinforce what Pat mentioned in there is that we are very proud to be the number one college in London for 16 to 18 year old achievement. And this was confirmed by the Department of Education in March. So this will hopefully will allow you to understand that a Harrow College is one of the best places for learners to come in London and, and to achieve. So why are we number one in London? Well, we're number one in London because our, our students have said so because in the, in the latest FE Choices survey, we are number one for student satisfaction in London. We are also number one for achievement um, in London. So when our learners do come to the college, they do achieve, which is a really good thing um, to, to hear. And our learners do go on to great things. Um, our students progress on to, to university, or into the world of work, to apprenticeships and, and other means. So we think about the whole learner here at Harrow College. We're really interested in you and, and we hope that we've designed a fantastic range of courses to prepare you for a fantastic future and to help you to progress and succeed. Whether that be onto higher education at university, whether it be to an apprenticeship or straight into the world of work, we want to make sure you are work ready and industry ready. And to do that, we have fantastic links with lots of employers who also give you great opportunity for work experience placements. And also those employers come into the college to speak to you and pass on their experiences. Furthermore, we have a really fantastic enrichment program on our curriculum with trips and visits to enhance what you learn in the classroom. And this is to support and encourage you to work hard and to achieve whatever your goals may be. We think it's really important to provide our students with a high quality learning environment and we believe we do that at Harrow College with fantastic industry standard facilities including our well-equipped classrooms and our workshops and our specialist workspaces and studios as you can see in those pictures there. What is also really important about coming to Harrow College is that you will be taught by members of staff who have worked in the industry and have first-hand experience about what it takes to succeed in industry and therefore you can gain the right skills and knowledge to make sure you are work ready or you are ready for university. Of course, being a student is, is also about making the most of, of life. And we wanna make sure you make the most of your college life outside the classroom with our various activities, including volunteering and fundraising and the numerous student social events that we hold at the college. As well as this, you can share your views about, about your learning experiences at the college through the student union and through class student representatives. As I mentioned earlier, we do have some outstanding facilities and we're, we're looking to improve those all the time. And at the moment, we are investing in our campuses. We have had some recent work at our Harrow Wheel campus and we are currently still in phase at the Harrow and the Hill campus with some fantastic um, facilities for you and for your learning. As Pat mentioned in her video, our teachers have high expectations for our, for our students and they strive to help them learn. And as Ofsted mentioned, Ofsted know that learners and apprentices are positive about their learning experiences and enjoy coming to the college. I'm now gonna hand you over to the curriculum team at Harrow College for the Computing and ICT School, who are gonna tell you a bit more about what you can do at the college. Hello everyone. I am Wasan Kakani. I am the ELF for the ICT department. And first of all, I want to thank Debbie for um, helping us for students with learning difficulties for the deaf students. So thank you very much, Debbie. Um, okay, so what we will cover is, uh, I'm going to talk about level one, level two, level three in the workshops, uh, HNC and HNDs, the English and maths, uh, meet the team, educational trips and work experience, Spas and Elves, Careers and Learning Resource Centre. All right, next slide, please. All right, so um, for the BTEC Level 1 Introductory Diploma, the course content, it's, uh, it's a one-year course. It offers a broad introduction to the skills and knowledge within the IT sector. It allows the delivery to be practical and active in order to engage the learners. So the units that uh, you guys will be doing, uh, 
that has a lot of activities such as creating a website, a digital poster, programming, spreadsheets, and video and audio clips. The study methods is through classroom teaching, computer work, practical activities, and group work. Thank you. Next slide, please. For the level two in ICT, uh, we have units that um, include computer systems, installing hardware, graphics, animation, databases, spreadsheets, and websites. For installing hardwares, you guys will go into a lab, which is the workshop. You will be able to take a computer apart, put it back together. You will be able to know um, all the components of the computer and what a computer consists. So the study methods are, it will be taught through demonstrations, full whole group teaching, discussions, practical workshops, and various, a variety of classroom activities, which involves group and pair work. Thank you very much. Move on, please. Uh, Pushbar, well, do you want to take over? So, sorry, you need to mute, unmute yourself. Right, okay, so the level uh, level three will be running the RQF. Uh, we've got some units which are quite interesting and industry standard. Uh, we'll be teaching you some programming, data modeling, website, and of course, there are some assessed units as well. So you will be sitting through some exams uh, in units one and um, a, a controlled assessment in unit two. Um, in the second year, you will be doing some gaming units that is to progress you from the uh, year one. And after that, you can either go to university or progress onto our HNC and HND courses. Next slide, please. So uh, I just talked about the level four, which is our HNC and uh, level five, our HND courses. Uh, they are very, very uh, competitive courses and uh, you will study the first two years uh, uh, at university. You do them at the Harrow College uh, instead of going to university. It is much cheaper as you know what the loans are uh, for getting into university. And then you get the same degree that you would do at university. And then the final year you will have to finish off when you get to university. Next slide, please. Okay, this one uh, you may not see very clearly, but uh, I'm quite happy to send the progression chart uh, to anybody interested. Um, it shows what the progression is from the level one, which is right in the top, uh, top part of the screen. And then it goes on to the level two, the level three, we've got the two year plan, the year one and year two. And then the one in yellow is going to the HNC courses should you wish to pursue your uh, academic uh, future in Harrow College and then the one in orange is the HND course and then you could go to university. You would also see from the blue you can go straight to university as I mentioned before uh, so that's entirely your choice and you have heard that we've got fantastic careers department that will help you and guide you through this route. Next slide, please. So we all uh, are, uh, uh, maths and English is a very important component of what we do. So all students will be required to develop their English and maths through their functional skills and GCSE. Uh, and as it is part of the course, attendance is compulsory. So it's not as though as you choose to do maths or English, it will be part of your curriculum. And uh, it is the expectation that you do attend that as well as your vocational studies. Next slide, please. So this is the team uh, you've got. Uh, it was a Pink Friday day. So all of us are dressed in pink. Uh, but uh, that's the team. Uh, we've got a fantastic uh, IT suite, newly built, uh, and you'll be in the Armstrong building where we've got uh, top class uh, IT facilities and a fantastic workshop where you will be working uh, to complete your qualifications. Next slide, please. Uh, we've got some uh, educational trips uh, we've done in the past. 
uh, some overseas, as you can see, Prague, Budapest and Paris, and some local trips uh, to Thorpe Park, Bowling and Alton Towers. Bowling is a very popular uh, annual trip that we have. Uh, so chances are you would be joining and we will be carrying on the tradition. Uh, work experience, it is expectation again that you will complete your work experience to complete your qualification and it will be in level two and three. Uh, we will place you in uh, places that are ICT related and as I uh, reinforced just now, it is important that you complete the work experience to complete your qualification. Next slide, please. Um, so in your course, you will have a SPA, a student progression advisor. The SPA is your personal tutor and helps you with any issues that you have uh, in the course or outside the course. They're also responsible for your work experience and you will have them once a week. You also have somebody called ELF, uh, an active learning facilitator, and she, or she is Wasin, the person who spoke with you just now, uh, who will help you with your assignments and your coursework, and you will have her also once a week. So there is basically, there is no excuse for you not completing the course, or uh, should you encounter any difficulty that's uh, impeding on your completion of the course, you have help. Next slide, please. Uh, we've got a fantastic careers and learning resource center, uh, a careers department that can help you with your future options, your apprenticeship and university. And we've got fantastic success stories about students gaining good apprenticeships and going to good universities through the help of our careers department. And also we have a learning resource center where you can find all the information you need, the books, the iPads, laptops, DVDs, uh, anything that you need. And should you find that you do not have the, uh, the, uh, the uh, books that you need, they're quite happy to order it online or through the book. Next slide, please. And this is uh, just uh, one of our students who started with us uh, from level two. And I think uh, I taught her in level three, year one. And she's moved on to HND in computing. And if I can read her blog, she's saying, I've been at Harrow College for five years. I recently completed an HNC course and I'm doing an HND. The teachers are very supportive and ensure that we deliver to university standard. Next year, I'll go to university to complete my full degree. Next slide, please. And uh, the next is support. Which I will, which I will um, go from there. Thank you ever so much Thank to um, uh, Wasson and Pushpa there um, for their detailed on the curriculum in the computing and IT uh, area at Harrow. So thank you ever so much. Just wanted to talk to you now about how we support our learners here at Harrow College. And um, just a few um, slides here just to, to finish off today. So first of all, um, what we are really proud of is our fantastic careers advice and progression support for our students. So if you are looking to, to get part-time work or if you're looking for support about how to complete a UCAS statement for university, we have a really strong team of people who can be able to do that for you. Also, if you are a student um, who has a learning support need or a special educational need, we are able to support you before you start um, at the college um, to prepare you um, for what you need um, for, for your course. So if you are slightly hesitant and want to speak to somebody, I will give you some, some contact details today so you can contact us in advance so we can have a chat with you about that. Also, we have a really fantastic personal welfare and financial support team here at the college. So to dealing with learners' mental health, to dealing with learners who, have, um, who would like to use our bursary, and just supporting students when sometimes things get difficult. And that, you know, we're always there to, to speak to our learners and make sure we can help them as much as we can. And finally, we have a great academic support team at the college, support students with their assignments. And that is on, on hand whenever you need it, as mentioned by the curriculum team. So, if you've listened today and thought, I really like to come and join us at Harrow College, which we hope you do, you do then here are the stages how to apply. 
So the easiest way at this current time and the quickest and easiest way is to apply online. So you go to the Harrow College website where you select the course and click on the orange apply button. What you will then do is create an application account and this account you can log back in as many times as you like. And this you can see you view your details and update your information. Please don't worry, the form doesn't take too long to complete. And once you've submitted it, we'll be in contact with you to explain the next steps of your application. If you do prefer to download the application form, you can do, and you can either email it or post it to us how you prefer. And if you need more information, at this time, we aren't, we, we aren't currently open our buildings, but we are available uh, remotely. So if you need to speak to us about anything, including the information that we've provided today, then you can do that through a number of ways. You can talk to our careers team and that you can call us on 0208 909 6000. Or if you prefer to email us, inquiries at hcuc.harrow.ac.uk. You could also look at our social media pages, but also our website, www.harrow.ac.uk. So thank you for attending this session today. Um, I'd just like to leave you with education equals opportunity. And I hope at Harrow College, we give you that opportunity to succeed. And I hope you can join us on the next journey um, of your career and your life. So I'm thanking you for this time today. And if you would like to ask any questions, please do put that in the chat for us. And we can answer that. Alternatively, you can email us at that email address or give us a call. Thank you for your time and I hope you, you stay safe and well during these times. Thank you so much.